So, you had cataract surgery performed in the past. You were told that your vision would be great, and it has been, and it was up until now. However, now you have developed similar symptoms to prior to having your cataract surgery performed. Can you have a second cataract? Please do watch this video to learn more about the condition of posterior capsula opacification and its treatment. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about a very important, potentially very debilitating condition called posterior capsular opacification. In a nutshell, when one has cataract surgery, there is a bag inside one's eye and the cataract is taken out of this bag and a clear plastic lens is popped into this bag. If you want to learn more about cataract surgery and the whole process, then I will link my video above here and also down below for you to explore that video at your own convenience. But essentially, the capsule or the bag which holds the current cataract and will stay in the eye to hold the new plastic lens that will come into the eye, over time, this bag can start to become cloudy and this is called posterior capsular pacification. Some people refer to this change as patients developing a second cataract, inverted commas, second cataract. This can develop over time in certain patients and as I said, patients may very well start to experience and become aware of challenging vis vision both in the distance and at near. Um, and again, similar symptoms to when they first had the cataract um, in place, such as um, sensitivity to lights and glare. The um, treatment for this condition is fairly straightforward and it can be very life-changing and it does not require further surgery. However, what it does require is a laser procedure known as a laser or YAG capsulotomy. Essentially, you will be taken to a specialist laser room, you will place your chin on the chin rest, um, and your eye will be visualized by a slit lamp, which is the normal machine that tends to be used to examine your eye in the eye clinic or with your opticians. And then what will happen is a laser beam will be focused directly at the point on the capsule where this cloudiness is present, and this cloudiness will essentially be zapped away. The aim of the treatment is to clear this haziness from your vision by removing this cloudiness of the capsule. Unfortunately, there are no magic pills or medical treatment that one can take to try and correct or reverse the process of posterior capsular opacification. The procedure is performed as an outpatient and it can actually take less than 60 seconds to actually carry out. As with every procedure, there can be associated risks. Some of the risks of a uh, capsulotomy include things such as a pressure spike or rise. You can cause damage to surrounding structures such as the retina. You can get fluid at the macula and so on and so forth. But what the amazing thing about this procedure is how life-changing it can be for patients and it can take, as I mentioned earlier, less than a minute to perform but have such profound effects on patients and their daily lives and daily tasks that they perform. Some important risk factors for the development of posterior capsular pacification include myotonic dystrophy, diabetes and uveitis. Another important thing to mention here is posterior capsular pacification tends to occur when lens epithelial cells migrate and proliferate and therefore cause the haziness and mistiness of the posterior capsule. One can also try and reduce the risk of developing posterior capsular pacification by carefully choosing the type of lens and its shape that is it going to be inserted into the eye. For example, a square shaped 
lens that will be inserted into the eye creates a physical barrier for these lens epithelial cells to migrate and therefore proliferate. So this is helpful in reducing the risk of PCO. Thank you so much for watching this video about posterior capsular opacification, focusing on the treatment of it. I've discussed in this video what some of the symptoms and features of posterior capsular pacification can be, how patients can be debilitated by this, and the relatively simple procedure that can be carried out to try and reverse the posterior capsular pacification that has taken place. If you have found this video useful, please do click the like button, the subscribe button, and please do click the bell icon to stay up to date with my most recent releases. If you have had posterior capsular pacification, it would be great to hear from you, share your story about how your vision was after the cataract operation, how your vision presumably was actually quite good, how it then deteriorated, and the revolutionary change upon your vision from having the procedure performed. Can I also please strongly encourage first time viewers to my channel to please, please, please click the subscribe button because support for such a young channel such as mine is absolutely crucial and it would be great to have your support in helping to grow this platform and channel. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs>